Well, hey there, it's Hudson, and I want to welcome you to a really special approach in the scene. This is ATS 52. So this is the one year mark of starting this weekly video series that's about all things photographic. And I want to thank everybody who's been taking part, who's been involved, who's been subscribing, who's been liking, who's been commenting and emailing and becoming part of this bigger conversation about photography by offering 15% off of any of the training materials in my store, anything except workshops, if you use the promo code, all caps, ATS52, for this week, up until next Thursday, 15% off just across the board, anything in my store. And I also want to point out, you know, I know there's a lot of you that are watching these videos. I don't know whether you've clicked like and subscribe. It really helps me out if you do just run down there, click that little subscribe button. There's a symbol down in the bottom right of this video at all times. If you just click that, it'll subscribe you. Uh, but there's other places that I'm offering photographic teaching besides these videos and the workshops that I teach. Uh, there's these training materials on my website. I'm going to put a link in the video description, easy to jump to HudsonHenry.com and go into the training section. And again, this week everything's 15% off. And I've got everything from intro level training courses to more advanced topics like advanced panoramics, multi-row, complicated panoramas. Um, so, you know, go through there, browse. If you find something that you like, hit me up, email me, ask me a question in the comments, use that 15% off coupon. There's also a ton of free content on there. I've got samples of presets and sample videos from the courses and videos on finding the nodal point for panoramas. It's, you know, a whole ton of free content is downloadable on there. So please go check it out. Um, you know, over this past 52 weeks, I've done some really fun things. This week I'm gonna take a break from a whole bunch of new content and I'm gonna just run through a few of my favorite Approach in the Scene episodes from the last year. And I'm gonna put links to those in the description so you can just jump right to them. Uh, and I've actually made myself a little list. After 52 episodes I had to run through and kind of make a list. Um, you know, I think my, my overall favorite episode so far was my conversation with my good friend Rick LePage where we talked about whether you actually need new camera gear to improve your photography or whether that time would be better spent focusing on your own artistic vision and some of your technical expertise. That was just a great, great conversation. I'm going to link that video. Uh, I did a, a fun video comparing sort of the two top guns of sports and action shooting, the, the Sony A9 versus the Nikon D5 with my two friends that own each of those cameras in Charleston, South Carolina. I'll put a link into that one. I've done videos on complete panorama start to finish edits and complete high dynamic range with a natural look for landscape photography uh, videos. I'll put links to those. For those of you that are just getting a foothold in photography and aren't so sure about exposure and the technical aspects of getting exposure right, I, I put out my video on the exposure triangle from my core photography course and that is going to be linked in here. It's, it's, it's a kind of a fun lesson that I shot in uh, the, the Great Salt Lake out in the Bonneville Salt Flats. Uh, I did one on how to clean your camera sensor, whether you're using mirrorless or DSLR. I get asked that a ton. Uh, I've done a number of videos on fluid heads and I think people still kind of come into that first one that I did about a year and a half ago before I even started approaching the scene. And I've updated my thoughts on fluid heads and camera connections to fluid heads and I'm about to do it again in the next month. There's a really cool product coming from Kirk Enterprise Solutions that I've been working with them on that replaces the top of a Manfrotto 500AH. Look for that video really soon. But I thought I'd link you the latest fluid head video that I put out. Uh, that really talks about how to set up your camera on three different levels of fluid head, whether you're using your old tripod, whether you want a lightweight, a little bit more affordable setup, or you want the full blown fluid head like I use that's just kind of bomb proof, tall, super stable. Um, so that latest video is linked. I've got one more here on just kind of going behind the scenes in On One's Photo Raw 2019. And that brings me to another point, you know, Beyond this video tutorial series, beyond this, this photographic conversation that Approaching the Scene has become, uh, and beyond the training materials that are available on my website, I also coach for OM1, and I'm really active in their OM1 Plus photography community. I create course materials. Every month I go through with my good friend Rick LePage, and we do 
critiques for people that send their images in to be looked at. We create videos of that. We answer questions in their on OnePlus forums, and we do a ton of training on using that software as well as general photography, both in the field and post-production and equipment, you name it. There's a ton of interesting content there, and I, I, I'm gonna put a link to on One Plus in this uh, description for the video too. If you click on show more, you'll see all these links to the videos I've described. Make sure you take advantage of that ATS 15 discount to get 15% off. So, you know, overall, this has been a great year. I have had so much fun watching this community grow around this video series, having this conversation with you all. Uh, and, and really responding to you and letting the community drive the content that we're producing for Approaching the Scene. And I, I'm really excited to see where we're at at the end of year two. You know, I, I want to ask those of you that are watching, if you haven't clicked subscribe, clicking subscribe helps me a ton. Uh, and, and I'd really appreciate it if you just hit that little symbol in the bottom right corner of the video, click subscribe. Uh, also, I want to thank everyone who's been sending in questions, sending me emails, contributing to this conversation, and a huge and special thanks to everyone who's been using my links. I always put my links in the video description, uh, and I, I link products that I use and trust in B&H and Amazon's websites, and you know that helps me produce this content when you guys go and use my links. I so appreciate it, and I really appreciate those of you who've reached out to me individually with questions about gear and then requested links of mine to go to use to buy that gear. I so appreciate it. For those of you working with a local camera store and supporting your local merchant, I totally understand that and support that 100% too. But if you're buying from B&H and Amazon and you appreciate what I do, I really, really am thankful when you use my links. So thanks everybody for making this an awesome year. Let's have a ton more fun next year. I've got some really great adventures and workshops planned. I have trips already on the books to Cuba for 2020, uh, Jackson Hole in Yellowstone this summer, scouting for workshops in 2020, uh, Moab, I've got a workshop going Patagonia in the late fall, early winter, our time spring up down in Patagonia, uh, Mitchell Khan next year, Kauai, uh, Costa Rica for birds and wildlife, tons of fun stuff coming over this next year. So, you know, jump on board, join the ride, send in those questions, send in those comments, uh, hit me up via email or just go down below in the description and, and hit me. Thanks everybody for making this such a special year.